haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the content that we put out. At this point, we've got success coaches in our program who are putting out content on a daily basis. So pretty much every 24 hours, we've got content going out to help you with your business. Now, if you want to get in contact with me to talk about your business, there's two ways to do that. First one is visit the description in this video. You can book a free 15 to 20 minute call with me so we can talk about your business, see where you are, see, see where you want to get to. And I can show you some actionable steps to take this week to grow and scale your, your training business. Now, if you don't want to schedule a call and you just want to send me an email, then you can do that as well to makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com, right? I make it a mission to connect with coaches every single day, whether it be through email, through Zoom, through Instagram, through through all, all different types of um, platforms. So every single day I'm connected with coaches. And if you don't stay stuck with your business, get in contact with me so we can have a quick chat. Right. So today I want to talk about something that a recent coach in our program, uh, he asked me, he had a, it was a question and it was how to build a soccer birthday party business. Right. I've been doing this now for a while with my training business. And it's something that if you run it properly and if you run it to a good standard, it's something that can generate a lot of income, right? I've helped coaches that some, some coaches I've, I'm working with currently, I'm helping them create this type of, of business and service, right? So what I want to share with you today are three very simple steps to, to build in a soccer birthday party business that you can either run an entire business solely just focusing on birthday parties or you can have it as part of your training program so when any of your current clients that are either in your one-to-one -one training uh, your groups or they do your camps or clinics they they have a birthday party coming up right this is something that you can you can promote and offer them on a monthly basis right kids are having birthday parties every day Right, and every single week. So offering it as an extra part of your training business can help you to generate an extra bit of revenue. I've seen some coaches that offering this type of service brings in an, an extra one to two thousand dollars per month. Okay, so the three simple things I'm going to share with you today are the following, right? So number one, when you want to set up this type of a uh, type of service first one you need to you need to have a location so you need to have somewhere where you can run your birthday parties out of now what i do in my business is i go into organizations and i offer to run the train inside of the birthday party so for example a local center a local soccer center that's near my area what I do is I go in, well, at the beginning when I first started, I went in and I, and I said to them, do you guys run birthday parties? And they said, yes. I said, okay, are you guys looking for co coach, extra coaches to run your parties uh, for you? And they were like, we sure are. Okay, so something you can do, go into, it could be schools or organizations or anywhere, anywhere that has kids and has a great facility and is a location where you feel, do you know what? We could probably run a birthday party out of there. Go into them and say, and, and offer your service. Offer to, to run birthday parties for their kids, right? I've got some coaches that run them for clubs, right? It's something that they offer clubs. So whenever a, a parent reaches out to the club for for a birthday party okay that club then hires or, or contracts the coach to come in and run the, the party for and under the club's name right so essentially the parent will pay the club and then the club pays the coach that's one way you can do it right so it's it's kind of like subcontracting 
but also another way you you can do it is you personally you find the venue you find the facility and you find the location to run your party out of. and you can come up with some sort of deal with the with the manager of that facility of that site and see if they can they can do you a deal for running for running parties out of right but the first one is its location so location is key and location has it has to be somewhere where you can host an event such as a birthday party so it needs to have at least a turf field or it needs to have a field where you can do the train inside of the party and then another another area where parents and kids can sit down and have their food and cut their cut the birthday cake and just celebrate the birthday party away from the field. Okay, so where what I look for is has this facility got a, a, a pitch, a field, and has it got a, a kind of indoor area where we can sit down and we can do the, the cake, we can eat, and so on, right? So location is number one. Second one is insurance, right? Insurance is critical. Insurance is important and insurance is necessary in order to run these type of events. Now, if you've watched any of our previous videos, then you'll know that once you start a business, you need to have insurance, right? Because if any of your, the kids at, at your, your busy, well, the kids at the birthday party or the, the clients that you work with, if any of them get injured, then you are potentially putting yourself at risk of being liable for that injury, right? If they have to go to hospital and they have to get surgery or whatever that is, right? You are liable to get sued if it, it, it gets to that point, right? So we want to be protected and we want to make sure we have insurance in place so that we can, you know, be, be protected in, in the event that something happens, okay? Normally, nothing happens, but we as business owners need to protect ourselves and our business, okay? So insurance is very important and it's key, okay? So location, insurance, and the third one is a contract agreement. So when I ran my... Uh, birthday parties privately which meant i went into a facility and i set up everything so all i did was i hired out the venue the facility for that party i made sure that there was an agreement in place with the parent that they signed so in that agreement it would be you state all your terms and conditions you would state where the party is being held how many kids are expected at that party uh, what are the rules for the party? Um, I, I also included a, a copy of my criminal background check to make sure, well, to ensure the parent that I have been checked, I've got no criminal record, and I'm, I'm allowed to work with children. Okay? And then there's a lot of other things that you can put in the agreement. You can also put that you... The agreement states that I will be running an hour and 15 training session. And then the next part of, of the party will be food, drinks, whatever it is, right? So you can, you in the agreement, you put what is included within that party. Okay. Now, this is really important because if you don't get parents to sign an agreement, and this is something that happened to me, right? When I started this type of service, I remember there was one parent that I spoke to and they got in contact with me. They said, right, Leo, we want to we want to run a, we want you to run our child's uh, soccer birthday party. And we're expecting to have 10 kids. So I said, okay, great. I've, I had everything. I had the location, I had the insurance. And I had myself for the coach, right? It was just me at the time that was running running the party. But what happened is because there wasn't any agreement and because they didn't agree to, okay, only 10 kids were, gonna, were, were going to show up at that party. What happened is when on the day of the birthday, instead of having 10, 
I ended up having 25 kids. Okay. Again, yes, it was great because what I did is I charged those parents extra for the extra kids that attended, but it, it, it affected me a lot because I wasn't prepared for those 25 kids. Because ultimately, the way my business runs is if there's anywhere above 12 kids, then a second coach is needed. So I was expecting 10, and then I got 25. The session runs, the birthday ran smoothly. It was a success. But that 10 could have easily turned into 30 or 40 kids. Okay, because I know from experience, parents get very excited uh, on the day of the party and they might just invite random kids. And they might invite extra pair, um, extra families. They might invite extra, you know, neighbors, friends, uh, teammates, school friends. And from 10, it can jump to 30 very, very easily. Okay, so in the agreement, you want to state that they agree that only 10 kids will be attending that party. They agree to be at that party on the set day, set time that we've agreed on. They agree that I will only be running the, the training side of the party and they will be providing a food, drink, a cake, and that they agree to my terms and conditions in terms of the payment. What I like to do with my parties when I do payment is there's a deposit that is paid in advance before the party happens. So what I normally do is I, I require a 50% uh, deposit. So half the birthday party is paid before so that that way, if they cancel, I keep 50% of what, of the total amount of the party, right? So I'm not losing out. Because essentially what I can do is I can I can hire coaches, I can get the equipment in, I get everything ready, and then suddenly they've cancelled and I've lost out on everything and I have to pay that coach, right? So I require 50% upfront paid before the party begins. And then once the party has finished on the day, they the rest has to be paid, okay? Now, there's some coaches that, they like to do the whole payment up front. There's some coaches that prefer to be paid on the day, right? That could, that depends on you. But from experience, I recommend the parent leaving at least a deposit so that they can pay something in the event they cancel last minute, okay? And part of the contract agreement is that they agree to pay a deposit seven days before the birthday party, and then the second half of the birthday party, they agree to pay it on the day of the party. Okay. And that they agree to, to all the terms and conditions and that there won't be any extra kids attending. Now, what I do is I put a clause which states that if there is any extra kids that do attend on the day, they get charged at a higher rate than the kids that are uh, pre that are currently attending. So I'll give you an example. If, for example, I was charging twenty dollars per kid, if once the agreement, the once the contract was created, say I've got twenty kids. No, say I've got ten kids, right? And I'm charging every kid uh, twenty dollars to attend, right? So that means the parents are paying me twenty uh, two hundred for to run that birthday party. Now, if we get any extra kids, say we get 10 extra kids, what I would do instead of charging those extra kids $20, I would charge them $30 extra on top of what they've already paid. Okay? And that is just a little bit of an inconvenience fee that they pay you on the day. Okay? So essentially, instead of paying me 200, they would end up paying me 500 because if they've invited 10 more kids at $30 per child, that's 300 plus the 200 that they, they will would have been paying for the party. So essentially you can make an extra $500 running a birthday party. 
Now, I hope that makes sense, right? If it doesn't and you want to speak to me, okay, take advantage of the free call. I speak to coaches every single day on Zoom. We do these 15 to 20 minute calls where we jump on Zoom. I ask some questions and I try and get coaches a little bit more clarity on their business. Okay, so take advantage of it. Not many people in this industry offer these free 15 to 20 minute calls, right? So I'm offering it for free. Take advantage of it. Don't get stuck with your business, right? And if you don't want to do that, then just send me an email, right? Send me an email to makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com, right? Thank you for watching and make sure before you leave that you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the content that we put out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.